Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and welcome to part nine to our Godot 4 Heart Platformer series. This free YouTube series was made possible by the students who support me by purchasing my Godot courses and pixel art courses. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the pinned comment in the description. In the last video, we set up our second level and added transitions between the levels. So if we come here, and complete the level and go to the second level. In this video, I want to add controller support. And controller support is actually very easy to do in Godot. If we come into our project settings, you can see inside of our input map. Uh, in fact, we're probably already able to use a controller. I have a Switch Pro controller here. I'm gonna plug it into my computer with a USB cable. And I heard it connect, I think there, yep. And when I run the game, I should be able to move my character. And uh, although I can't seem to jump. Um, oh, yeah, it's because I have upset to jump. So I can jump, actually, um, which feels really bad. But it's using the D-pad. And part of the problem is that currently we're using the built-in actions. Uh, so if we come into our input map, in the project settings and show built-in actions. You can see we have UI accept, um, UI write, and these are set up to use the joypad bu uh, button on the controller, but not the analog stick. We wanna create our own actions. It's best, it's best practice to use your own actions uh, when you're creating your game. So we're gonna use, we're gonna add a new action here called move right. This, add one called move left, add one called jump. And that's all we need, right? Those are the only actions we have. So we can come into move right, we can click the plus button here and it's gonna listen for an input. So I can press the right arrow key and okay. You can see the right arrow key is now set up to move right. Uh, we'll also click on it and do the D key. This is how you can set up WASD. Uh, we'll do left and a, and A. And then for jump, we can do up. We could do space. We could do W. We could do J. Those are all uh, keys that I tend to like to use for jump. So now we have these actions set up. When we come into our player, instead of using... Uh, UI left here, we're gonna use move left. Instead of UI right, we'll use move right. R-I-G-H-T, there we go. And for all of these jumps, or UI ups, we can just do jump instead. And in Godot, you can actually, if you hold Alt, I think, you can select multiple lines and then change them all at once. Like that. Okay, so we've got jump set up and we can now jump using the space bar or the up key or we can use WASD and use the J key, uh, which feels pretty good too, right? There we go. Uh, let's do our controller. So if we come into project settings again, if we click move right here, we can select, we, I can pull up the controller and Godot is listening for inputs. I can press the right key on the D-pad and do it again with the analog stick. You can see joy axis left stick moving to the right. And then for left, I can do left on the analog stick and left on the D-pad. And then for jump, I can do the, uh, let's see. I'm probably gonna use the B button on my Switch. Um, you can see that's A on an Xbox and the cross on Sony, and it tells you that. Okay, so now when I run the game, I can easily move with the analog stick. And that actually feels way better to me. Oh no, okay. It feels better to me to use the, the double, the, the wall jump feels better to me when I'm using a controller like this. And I'm gonna click on this to make sure Windows is prioritizing this window to try and reduce any stuttering. 
Windows, if you're prioritizing another window, it will sometimes um, not put as much processing power to that window. Yeah, that's way easier for me on a controller. I was really struggling with it on the keyboard. We can make this jump now <laughs> because I forgot we had double jump. That's fine. It's fine. It's just got multiple routes for solving it. There we go. And that's it. It's really easy to set up controller input, and I think it feels a lot better with games like this to use a controller. So this is a short video, I guess, but thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one.